All right, guys, I've got the Think Car 689BT and the Moo Car 892BT. And the other day, a commenter said that they that he had just purchased the Moo Car and he updated it to the latest version, which is this 1.0.8, and he lost the high speed scan. So uh, here's the uh, the description of what the new update gives you. It says it does bug fixes. Enhances the AI functionality, optimizes search, uh, added extended warranty. It doesn't say anything about the high-speed scan. So I'm going to do an update on mine. First, we're going to check it on the car to make sure that the high-speed scan works. We'll see about how long it takes. And then uh, I'm going to update it and see if we do indeed lose the high-speed scan. If we do, hopefully that's just a temporary thing. And they made a mistake by taking that away because that's a very nice feature. Now, the Think Car also has an update, and it's the same exact description in the update as you can see here. So, we're going to do the same thing with the Think Car. We're going to plug it in, we're going to see if uh, it has the high speed scan like it should, and then we're going to do the update and see if it also uh, goes away. So, let's go over here to the car. All right, guys, we're on the car. Let's uh, let's go over here. Let's make sure that we do have the typical high-speed scan like we did have. All right, guys, so let's go over here. I've got the Moo car uh, connected. We're going to go over here. We're going to do a scan, make sure the high-speed scan still works. This is a BMW. This is a, We're on my wife's 2019 BMW X3. And it typically goes through... Uh, scan really quick so we'll see how that does we're going to automatic search should id the vehicle hit next that high speed scan was one of the best things that's come out on recent scan tools in my opinion that's one thing that i've always kind of hated some cars takes longer than others uh so the faster you can get through with just a typical scan the the better you are okay and you can see down there it does say high speed scan now you can tell uh that it's doing a high speed scan because multiple modules will be being scanned at the same time and you can see that whenever they're scanning so i'm going to hit high speed scan you can see it says scanning multiple modules you can see how fast the bar is going over And we're at 100%. So that took five seconds or so. So let's go ahead. Let's back out of this. Now, would you like to end? Yes, we will. Because what I'm wondering is if they just changed, the, they took the button and just put, you know, smart scan or scan on it. But it, it may still be doing a high speed scan. So let's go, go over here to app. I'm going to hit uh, download. And we're going to let it do its thing. Okay, let's go back to upgrade. Let's just make sure that it does show that it is the latest version. And it does, 1.08. So let's go back to diagnosis. And we'll do the same thing, and we'll see if it still does a high-speed scan or if it's back to the old individual module scan, which, which typically, typically takes longer. And depending on the vehicle, sometimes it can take a lot longer. an auto search should ID the vehicle okay and it still says high-speed scan so he may have been on a vehicle that did not support high-speed scan I'm gonna go ahead and hit high-speed scan make sure it works and we're gonna assume that the high-speed scan has been retained with this new update high-speed scan here we go and yeah you can see that multiple modules was being scanned at the same time 
if you scroll, it tries to go back to the start. So while it's doing a scan, you can't really scroll down. But it took roughly about five seconds. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm going to go ahead. I went back, and I'm going to just hit Smart Scan. And you can see that it's just scanning individual modules, one after the other. So we'll just let it go through that just to give you an idea of how much faster the high-speed scan is. The high-speed scan would have already been done by now. And on this BMW, even a regular smart scan is relatively quick. So scans all the same modules. So the, the high-speed scan is still there, it looks like to me, uh, you know, without trying it on multiple vehicles. If I come across any of my vehicles that I've already had this on that I know the high-speed scan worked, I'll do another video to let you know that it doesn't work on that vehicle. But it looks to me like... Uh, that it's working just fine and just to be on the safe side uh, we're going to do the think car okay so i've got the think car plugged in uh, we're just going to go ahead and install the app i'm not going to go through and uh, do a high speed scan first because i already know that this did have high speed scan to start with so we're just going to do the update Make sure the high-speed scan works, and we're going to verify that both these scan tools do still have high-speed scan. Okay, so let's go over here, make sure that we do have the latest app, 116, for the Think Car. And let's go back over here to Diagnose. We'll hit Enter and uh, do the same exact thing that we just did with the MUCAR. If you don't know about these scan tools, these are very nice scan tools for the price. They have free lifetime updates. Uh, the base software is the same as far as all the automotive diagnostic software. There are some minor differences. The MUCAR is heavy on the AI uh, to help you out. But the, uh, the Think Car does have a nice uh, DTC fault description which is very helpful, uh, and the Think Car supports their key key programmer. So if you're going to program a lot of keys, I would recommend the Think Car. If you're not going to worry about keys, uh, either one of them is going to work for you. Uh, I tend to like the Moo Car mainly because I'm able to customize the background, and it kind of gives it that personal feel. All right, so you can see it still says high speed scan down at the bottom. Now. I, like I kind of said on the Moo car, one thing that you need to know is it, it may not always say high speed scan on the vehicle. It might just say scan, but you need to pay attention to when you hit it. If it's got multiple modules that it says it's scanning at the same time, that is doing a high speed scan. One of my other scan tools, that button does not say high speed scan. It, it's just its regular scan but during one of the last updates that I did on it it added the high speed scan so if for some reason on the think car the moo car it doesn't say high speed scan on yours and you've got the latest app just watch the modules whenever I hit high speed scan here watch the modules being scanned at the same time here we go see how it says scanning that's how you can tell whether your scan tool's got high speed scan. If it's doing a multiple module scan at the same time, you've got high speed scan. And we're already done. So both tools, the Moo Car and the Think Car, did retain the high speed scan after both of them was updated. So anyway, that's going to conclude this video. I just wanted to make sure that they did not take that high speed scan away, and they did not. So uh, you guys take care. We'll see you in the next one.